Hello, you guys. This is Irene. So I wanted to address a subject that came up on my main channel regarding how I felt about my man traveling so much. And this was brought to me by men and women, which I thought was really fascinating. However, here on this channel, because this channel is specifically geared toward women, I wanted to really speak to you guys about how you should react when your man is traveling and how you should not react and my, my reasoning behind this. So first and foremost, for me, um, my man travels a lot. Mr. Travels a whole, 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 whole lot. And um, sometimes for a week, uh, most recently for a couple of days, I normally use his traveling time to do like lots of girly stuff, <laughs> like take care of my hair, my nails, um, take a break from the very rigorous sort of schedule that he has me on um, to lay all over the bed, uh, stuff like that. Uh, to kind of be a little more dowdy, like around the house, which is a whole other video that I'm going to be doing about bringing your A game to the table when you are a housewife. So um, with that said, what you should and should not do if your man travels a lot. Um, the first thing I want to say is when your man has been gone from home, he has seen and done all kinds of stuff, right? He's seen lots of women, he's had other experiences, things that you're not a part of. When he comes home, what you want him to do is be like, damn, I'm glad to be home. Damn, I'm glad she is here when I come home. And that should be the reaction that you're trying to garner out of your man. So for me, um, and I'll probably insert a clip, but if I don't, like, don't be mad at me. But um, for me, I make sure that the whole house, like my house is clean anyway, but I make sure it's extra clean. So when he walks in, it's like a picture. Um, I always wear lingerie, um, no matter how I'm feeling, like whether I'm irritated he was gone a long time, whether I've missed him, whether I've had a bad day, whatever. I make sure I put on lingerie. I give my full body a prep, like I do an exfoliation of my whole body. Um, Scented lotion. I wear scented lotion anyway. I always do like um, a, a butter of some kind or Cetaphil, something thick and buttery, and then a scented lotion over that um, and a wear perfume. So that's like my regular every day, but like I make sure that that's fresh. Um, when he comes home, I make sure my hair is freshly washed, that it's soft. Um, that's something else I want to talk about, like I'll talk about that and I'll talk about that in my bring, bring your A game to the table. Um, make sure that it's soft, make sure that it smells good. I know for me, my man loves when my hair smells nice. So whatever I use on my hair, it has to smell good. Um, and when he comes in, I like to look like a dime. Okay. Like an absolute positive dime, um, ready to be unwrapped. And I don't just jump on him automatically, you know, like I let him come in, I let him put his stuff down, and then I like put myself under him so that he can choose to receive me or not. Now, this sounds very old fashioned, this and that, but I'm going to tell you, the thing is, if he comes home and you got an attitude, um, the house is trashed, um, it's not smelling nice in there, you're not looking your best, like you have to recognize that's what he's coming home to after a trip. So he's going to come home. You've got a, a rag on your head or your hair is tied up. You're not tight. Like the house is a mess. The kids are all over. If he's not coming home late or early, whatever, like the kids are going to be off doing something. There's no TVs in my house, but I, that'll be the time where I go ahead and I put on like the last unicorn or something like that. And I stick the kids in a room. Um, where I give them a stern talking to, like, stay out of our way, um, whatever the case is. Because when he comes home, I want him to come and be like, oh, wow. Like, ah, uh, not, I want him to not be excited about leaving the next time. I want him to come home and be like, yes, this is my family. This is my wife. This is my, you know what I mean? And for that to be a pleasurable experience. He hasn't seen you in a few days. When you see somebody every single day, it's easy to take them for granted. When a man has access to your body, to your conversation, to you, to your food, 
it's easy to take that for granted. If you know he's coming around dinner time, make sure if there's a good meal ready, pick something you know he likes. Um, my man, last time he came home, it was very late, so I had muffins baked. Those are his Achilles heel is like baked goods. So I had muffins baked, I had fresh cornbread baked, I had it sitting out. Um, and so that's what he came home to. He came home to me in a little red negligee number, uh, a red silk robe, fresh baked goods, smelling good, looking good. And that was his welcome home. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's how we have to react as women when we have men that travel a lot, it is so hard to take a different reaction. It's so hard not to complain. It's so hard not to be grumpy, especially if they travel a lot. That can be difficult because you miss them. You love them. You want them in your space too, but it's so essential. It's so essential that you back down off of that and you recognize if you play your position right, it means that it's not gonna be pleasurable for him either. And that's the key, right? Is it's not pleasurable for him to leave home either. He's not looking for it either, but when he's ready to come home, he knows what he's going to get and he starts looking forward to that. And so when he's coming home, his excitement is in the return and not in the separation, not in getting that break, right? Away from you guys. And so that's just a really quick video that I'm going to do. It's just some food for thought coming from an old lady. I always tell you guys I'm old. I have like a whole bunch of kids. Um, and I like to have a peaceful house, right? And so I think that this is a great way to ensure that you guys um, are able to accomplish that with the person that you love. I am wearing a pair of shoes today that I normally do not wear even though I love them, because they have no platform. And so, you know, when shoes don't have a platform and the heel is high, that is a task to walk in. But they are one of my favorite pairs, even though I don't wear them much. And you can tell, like, these, they have no platform. So that's like a full-on, um, this is like a full-on stilt <laughs> that I'm walking on today. But... Okay, I'm only five foot three, so I absolutely positively love a hill. So with that said, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out my vlogs. Remember that I have homeschooling vlogs. I also have a news channel, and I have a channel that's just dealing with the Black community, so be sure to check out those channels as well. If you're not already subscribed to them, subscribe to all three of my channels, and I'll talk to you guys later.